the Honorable Rector of Stabru Real University, Turkey, Professor Dr. Erchan J.H., the Honorable Director, Head of Conference, Professor Bahisen Tabaks, the Honorable Director of Graduate Education Institute, Professor Dr. Ali Abdemim, the Honorable Dr. Eileen L. Dobju, Vice Dean of Faculty of Economics and Administrative Sciences of Istanbul Ariel University. All distinguished you know, speakers, scholars, and participants. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings from Jakarta, Indonesia. First of all, Watching TV news a couple months ago, when a strong earthquake hit some region in Turkey, I was heartbroken by the sad news. At the time, I asked probably my colleague, Dr. Mutia Delina, find information about collision of our best college. Istanbul Ariel University. Thank God we received information from Professor Ali Akdemi and also Dr. Eileen that the earthquake was far away from the university location. This event, I sympathize about the situation that happened. My thoughts. Prayers are the lead to earthquake victims in Turkey. Secondly, I'm very pleased and honored to be invited as a keynote speaker on the International Congress of Justice, hosted by Istanbul Arel University. This is part of international cooperation. Istanbul Ariel University, Turkey, and Sasnet in Jakarta, Indonesia. It has been started uh, since last year. Hopefully, our collaboration will be more fruitful in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with the theme of this International Congress, I would like to share my thoughts and details. Is gender equality needed in business? The question rise in my mind when I examine 17 pillars of sustainable development goals initiated solid by the United Nations. The seven pillars are no property, zero hunger, Good health and well being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, vision and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduce inequalities, sustainability, cities and communities responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institution and partnership for the group. I believe all the country in the world to pursue, try to pursue the goals. My thoughts, inspired by the fifth pillar, that is, gender equality, and also the 10th pillar, that is reduce equalities. Ladies and gentlemen, gender is, by definition, difference between man and woman that is not natural. Differences that are not natural include differences in roles, 
responsibilities, function, and even the space which human. Oh, it seems that the gender difference is inherent in the human perspective. So it seems as if it is something permanent and eternal. Gender equality is a condition which, in which all people must receive equal treatment and there is no discrimination against gender identity. Gender equality is very important to company performance. However, the irony is that the gender equality in various companies has not been evenly distributed. Gender equality has a positive impact on the business scene. The benefit of gender equality itself can improve the performance of the business all the better. Due to the different role of men and women, thus can have a broad positive impact. Therefore, various initiatives were carried out to encourage companies to create comfortable of environment for employees have multiple roles, as well as support changes to achieve gender equality in the world of work. Therefore, a joint role is needed to encourage women's participation in the economic development by boosting productivity, presenting a fair and competitive labor markets contributing to sustainable development. To win grow, company needs to create a gender friendly workspace, develop woman oriented investment, promote diversity practices, and continue to increase the number of women who hold key positions in the company. Gender equality is the work environment can lead to significant productivity gains and business growth. This awareness is widespread despite challenges. For, company, for companies, the opportunity to add a more women to the board and senior leadership is a major achievement. Gender equality is that is at the heart of this work. Gender equality is implemented. Global welfare can increase up to 21.7%. On the other hand, global human global human capital world losses are estimated. 160.2 trillion US dollar due to gender equality. This data based on the result, based on the results. Globally, the 2017 World Economic Forum, WEF, study indicates that gender equality will increase global gross domestic growth by 5.3 trillion US dollar. Correspondingly, in the average labor, labor force participation rate, working hours and work productivity of women were equal to that of men, then the GDP of OECD countries would theoretically increase by 20% and the, G the GDP gener generated by women would increase by 50%. In the World Bank's entry level professional position, women are at 47%. It should be appreciated along with the fact that 57 
percent of university graduates in Indonesia are women. However, the future drops dramatically for middle and high level management position. In the middle management, women account for only 20% of total workforce. The future is even lower for high level management, namely 5% of CEO position and 5% of board member. All distinguished international congress participants, many studies have attempted to quantify the potential benefit of reducing gender inequality on the economy. Generally, research finds that small reduce to close gender inequality will show significant results. Instead of being a stumbling block, condition of gender inequality in Indonesia can be seen as a huge potential woman contribution to economic growth that has not been explored. This potential can be explored through effort to realize gender equality in the economic sector. This means that women and men have the same condition and potential to contribute to national development and realize their right as a human being. The manifest, I'm sorry, the manifestation of gender, gender equality is the absence of discrimination between women and men, the opportunity to participate, gain access, and feel the benefit of national development. However, the role of women may still be considered low for some companies. Even though the role of women is important for the sustainability of the companies, having a different role between men and women can also boost productivity and business growth significantly. Many women are more competent than men. Empowering women is not just to give power. Like men hope to have power, women naturally also have power with different characteristics from men. From men. So their contribution can add value to place where they work. Concept of emp empowerment that women need is not to be given power, but to be given the opportunity. With our surveys, it is stated that companies that are the top 20% of gender diversity are more likely to have above average financial return. This financial benefit include both improving the quality of business performance, expanding the range, the range of human resource talents, innovation, and creativity making effective decisions, as well as improving the company's image itself. But gender equality is still a challenge in the developing country to, like, to do the, like, the lack of uh, public knowledge about the importance of gender equality in business performance. But this can be overcome by taking openly but male privilege that women don't have so that the way men perceive women can change. Changing the mindset of the men, seeing women is important. Changing men's views of women can further raise the value of gender equality. Ladies and gentlemen, Conclude my remark, the role of upholding 
gender equality can have a good impact on business performance. Therefore, reports mentioned for above must be carried out by people so that gender equality is more evenly distributed and so that people stigma stigmatize against gender equality. Finally, I hope my short talks delivered in this conference will widen your horizon and provide a platform to share ideas. Best of luck to all presenters, and I hope that you have goodwill discussion this International Congress of Justice. Thank you for your attention and good morning. Greeting from Universitas Negeri Jakarta.